It's a 16 star showdown. I invited everyone. You better not miss it. Now who's ready to play? All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next match of the 16-star showdown. Here in this round, we have Group F facing off, and it's actually one of the best groups, in my opinion, as far as skill and closeness, because a lot of these runners don't really play 16-star, and, and they have a lot of skill that I think will shine through. That is Gamiro JJ, SRL, Poke, Leo Damon, just call him Leo, Lasos and Badronis. So this is actually a killer matchup we got going on. And in the commentator's booth, we have Collins. How are you doing? Hey, Mark. How's it going, man? Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course, of course. I was uh, I was excited to have you on this one, especially you know with Badro and and Lasos in here. I know uh, we're kind of like somewhat friends on online and stuff. We do commentary and, and whatnot together. So thought it'd be really fun anyway. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I'm actually really excited for this one because, um, you know, I think it goes without saying that Gamiru is probably one of the favorites here. But I don't know. It's really inter I'm gonna I'm really interested to see Badronis and Lasos do some 16 star runs. Um, obviously, they're both primarily 120 runners, and I don't know. We got a lot of skill here, so it should be exciting to see. You know, I, I guess like a lifetime attack sort of thing is uh, probably kind of favorable to maybe the 120 runners they're used to a little bit more consistency so we'll have to see how it goes yeah 100 percent. i i think that's very true 16 star a lot more punishing for these mistakes but yeah that that 120 consistency could pull through so yeah we'll have to see i apologize i don't have a camera this time obs crashed as i was setting up reset it real quick and no more video cam so all good i'll be picture perfect just like my boy collins here so we'll uh, I'll give the countdown to these runners and we'll get everything started off. Go ahead in five, four, three, two, one, and go. These racers will start off. Reset the timer here. A bit of stream delay gonna gonna be right there. One thirty nine on the dot. Let's go. Resets and let's get into the action here. Gamiru is not live. This is a recording of Gamiru. So. Uh, just keep that in mind. Everyone else is live, though. Gamiru and Kano both had things going on this week, so wasn't able to really um, get either one of them going. But Kano's match will be next week, both Japanese runners. And then uh, we'll also have Cheese as well next weekend. And those will be the last two matches of this first round. So really yeah, exciting really cool stuff. That, yeah, really cool to see that you got some of the Japanese runners involved. I know it's kind of tough sometimes. You know, just with their uh, schedule and, and time difference, but really cool to have everybody participating. So it should be fun. I'm expecting some good runs out of Gamiru for sure. Yeah, 100 percent, 100 percent. Gamiru, not you know a stranger to this category, has run some some bigger ones with GSA, and, like break the record and stuff, I believe. So yeah, looking for a lot of good stuff there. But any any predictions here as far as like maybe some upsets, like who who might be most likely? Yeah, like I said, I think obviously we're we're looking at Gamir for for the favorite here. You know, and I'm not too familiar with Poke or Leo, um, but I know JJ has been around for a while as well. I don't know. I, I we could really see we could really see anything. Maybe I'm a bit biased, but I, I have faith in Madronas. I think he can uh, pop out a solid time. You know, he has the LBLJ experience a little, or the, or the L, LBLJ inexperience rather. Um, not something that he really does in 120 star, and you can kind of see it. Um, here with that reset, and, or what, what possibly will be a reset, I would assume. And Lasos got that one too, so yeah, I don't know. I, I guess we'll have to see. It, 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 what it's really going to come down to, I think, is getting runs started for everybody. And um, yeah. I, think the, I think the LBLJ will definitely be the initial sort of uh, barrier. I, I think that's true for a lot of these runners who aren't particularly fond of the 16 star. Yeah, LBLJ, not an easy trick if you're unfamiliar. Very inconsistent. But, but I agree, yeah. Lasos and Badger could easily pull up here. We'll see what they got in store. And, oh, JJ getting a weird slope dive there. Maybe didn't press A, only hit B. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. Kind of a interesting kind of uh, error there, but nevertheless, going to continue this one out. And I think that's what's what's fun about this tournament too is there's, it, it lends itself to a different play style than just a straight up uh, tournament. You know, I think um, the tournament kind of a traditional tournament like you know one v ones kind of. Uh, you know, they favor that consistency a bit more. Um, so you see people kind of dial it back on the strats, but when it comes to like this sort of thing, I mean, you can kind of just send it and, you know, you have you have a bit of time, like definitely um, a, a great opportunity to really kind of put it all out there. 100%, 100%. I'm excited to see some really good runs here from, from all runners. We've had some great matchups so far. Last one was the only one we really had upsets that happened and it was like crazy. Last seed ended up taking third place spot. Her third seed took first place spot. It was nuts. Second place didn't qualify. Zion took second. You love to see the upset every once in a while. For sure. Madronas oh. <laughs> with this throw. Oh no. I swear it's the first throw that's the hardest. I don't I don't know what it is, but you know the Bowser three and two throws are relatively consistent, but man. Something about that first throw is just not it. It is hard. You're like you're like far away. You're trying to do it quickly. It's not. It's not fun. Yeah, it's super strange. But uh, nice catalyst there from JJ. So off to a pretty solid start, I believe. JJ here. We'll see um, kind of what's going on. Uh, just a couple more stars to go here. Going for the double. Oh, going for the triple jump. Looked like he was going to set up for the double jump. I was there, but kind of dialed it back. Yeah, it really did. Nice Owlis regardless. JJ pushing it through on this first run. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah, and Kamiru as well, not far behind, four stars. About probably the same timer, uh, a little a little off. Mm -hmm. And you know, you have to think like, you know, when we're looking at like world record attempts, like a 419, 420, 421 is kind of like what we're working with here. So you can kind of take a, a sort of, I guess of the pace kind of coming out of Womps here, but nice exit for JJ. And it looks like a mirror just like a couple, ooh, <laughs> couple seconds ahead of uh, JJ here. But you know, it's overall, it's a bit of a race between these two so far. Uh, kind of nice to start it off with a little bit of a race. You know, sometimes people like to start everything off with a no reset here. Not really sure if that's what these guys are going for or whatever yeah. have you. But. That is true. That has been kind of the format in the past. I'm not forcing these runners to do a no reset. Uh, only 99 minutes, you know, want to get as many runs as possible. And I kind of want it to just be more like PB attempts, you know. Uh, you, you're not having to be, you know, strict format type deal. I want, want them to be somewhat relaxed with some good runs going. And that was that was the whole idea. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and unfortunate uh, miss there Ooh. on the... Ooh, and that's another unfortunate, you know, when you press press B by accident, it's kind of kind of rough there, so yeah, he's going to back this up one up on Talon Star, it looks like. And where is oh. the bird? Hiding. It does reveal itself. Oh, he's going to get stuck? Oh, okay, no, not quite. <laughs> it's like a Wilco ground pound. <laughs> like the X and Z press. Yeah. That was funny. thought it was going to get stuck in the sand. If he was a little higher, probably would have. Let's see. Kamiru is ahead of JJ now. Really close. Badron is just now entering in basements alongside Poke. So four runners in basement currently. Basically run one. Nice combo there. Angle was a bit, uh, a bit scary for a second, but nicely done there by JJ on the top of and Looking pretty solid so far here. Laysos in with his own pillar list as well. Don't, or excuse me, Poke. The uh, <laughs> I read yeah. I read the sauce's name on me. Yeah, a little bit of overlap on the names. There's a lot of stuff going on on the screen. Yeah, that that's the that's the cool thing, and sometimes the the double-edged sword when you have so much going on on the screen. It's really cool to be able to watch, and then at the same time you're like, uh, yeah, it can be be a bit watch. much. Yeah, hard to keep track of it all. But we do our best. We do our best. JJ in lethal lava land meeting Gamiru as Gamiru takes a burn. That's uh, wow. Let's swap over to Gamiru as he is in the lead here. Padronas just had an insane talent backup. I don't know if you saw that, but wow. Like, actually, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Kind of a YOLO backup, but, you know, worked out for the best. 
I, I I missed it. I wish I had seen it. There there's some crazy backups uh, that some of these runners will do. We'll see Gamiru taking the side hop. It's good, nice. It always like kind of looks like. Yeah, it does make it look easy. It, it always looks like to me that the angle is a little too far, like right, and they're just not gonna wall kick at all. Mm -hmm. But that is the good angle. You want it to be as far angled as possible so you don't hit away from the fence. And JJ going for the lava boost, which is uh, pretty interesting. You know, it only saves, I think maybe like, it depends on the ending, but I mean, maybe like half a second to a second. And, uh, but JJ really pulling out all the stops here. And you're gonna see Gamiro actually not gonna be going for the lava boost. Yeah, opting for the elevator. We see most runners do the elevator. Only a few do opt for that lava boost. But yeah, like you said, just a small time save. You know, but if you're used to it in, uh, you know, in, in 70 or 120, you know, it, it might be worth it for some people. It just kind of depends on what you're comfortable with. Um, I know the, like I said, it, a lot of it depends on, is dependent on the ending. So, um, excuse me, only 70, you don't do a lot of this in 120. But um, it's been a while since I've commentated. <laughs> it's been a, couple, been a couple months. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, I've been, um, I'm sure you've been doing some, some IRL stuff. I haven't, I don't think I've seen you stream too much recently, but I'm, I'm happy you're here. Honestly, I'm glad to see you around. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. I bought a house and, you know, just endless projects and all that stuff, but I'm, I'm happy to be back in Mario. Bruce 6 coming soon. So maybe I'll bust out, you know, some Une again. Yeah. Maybe that's, we'll see. we'll see. That's dope. You bought a house. Holy crap. Congrats. Yeah, wow. Thanks. See, big All boy right. plays. We'll see some big boy plays here from Gamiru as well. Yep. Nicely done on the box triple jump there. Alright, JJ right behind, literally. Less than a star. Yeah, this is a great, a great start to uh to this kind of this bracket right here. Just nice you know, I don't want to consider it a no reset because these guys have made very minimal mistakes, but you know, kind of a, a race to, to, to kick things off, which is always fun. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, getting those early runs, really nice. For the viewing you never experience. Know what you can get. Like, you never know what you're going to get either. You know, like, you can have a shift when you're doing this sort of LTA stuff where, like, the runs are incredible and, like, it's back-to-back non-stop action. And then you could have one where it's just an hour and a half of literally nothing. It's lobby or recess, you know? So yeah. So it's always good to kick it off with a with a with a bit of, with a bit of the bang. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. You don't want uh, don't want any nulls. That's for sure. Only had a couple so far. Normally, like we, most people have been getting on runs, so that is good. That's great. I think you and I had a, a kind of a bummer shift for a. I think it was an ESA. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, an ESA one. <laughs> like it was just like it was two hours of kind of just lobby. We're like, oh, yeah, just talking, just doing whatever. Yeah ends up more of a conversation than it does really commentary. Yeah. Try to try to explain the game as much as possible as it's going on. But Gabiru's about to do Mips clip. JJ right behind. Ooh, yeah. quick pause there. Go for the Mips or the punch grab, excuse me. Nicely done there by Gamiro. I will say my heart skips a beat every time I see a slight pause because my instant reaction is, is that me? Yeah. <laughs> oh. That was clean. JJ missing the punch grab. Ooh, nice. Probably one of the better backups. Yeah, JJ having a good backup there. Gamiru, really clean mips just in general. We'll see if, Gamiru, if JJ can, can pick it up a little bit here. Oh, Gamiru went for the for quick the... one for JJ. Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy, you know? It, it, it's wild to see how many people are starting to implement that clip in, in DDD there. And unfortunately, JJ having some issues with mips here. And that is kind of the category. Yeah, chip clip is, is is a hard trick for sure, and we're just now seeing people start to like implement it. JJ just struggling here, unfortunately, but oh man, this is rough for JJ. I don't. I guess it's been a long time since JJ's done Mips clip. Yeah, he's running straight into the door. It's not taking it slow. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's kind of it's very frustrating when you get to a certain point where like. You miss it so many times, you're like, okay, I gotta hurry up, I gotta hurry up. But sometimes, sometimes it makes more sense to just kind of take a second, you know, maybe sacrifice a second or two to just do what he did there and, and kind of 
uh, focus and, and get it done. So that's actually going to have Poke take the lead over uh, JJ here. So very interesting is Gamiru is going to miss the, um, the ultimate, which I'm assuming that he was going for. Oh my gosh. The, the, the... Oh! And a bit of no! A He's going to die. Yeah. yeah. That'll do it. Oh, we saw that exact same death from, I think, Bob Toad last race. You just take that burn, like, one jump too soon. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's uh, really unfortunate. And, you know, it, it's one of those things you have to make a really close call. You have to make a really tight decision. Like, okay, I burned early. Can I make it with another burn onto the platform? Or can I maybe try to get a single burn towards the end? Um, and it looks like Amir just unfortunately gambled and lost there, but getting the, oh, and unfortunately ledge grabbing, almost getting the ultimate fire C there. We'll see how, gonna have to be doing some homebrewed movement there, a couple long jumps. Uh, you can still see how far ahead Gamir is from the rest of these runners too, like JJ for instance, or Poke, Poke and JJ for instance, like right at the beginning of fire C, so even with a death, Gamir still doing okay. Yeah, 100%. We're gonna swap over to Poke here, just just because kind of in the in the lead of this uh, this four man race we got going on. Gamir is still in the lead, but did take that death. I'm not sure how far behind Poke is. Get that extra minute on there. All right, a clean ending here from Poke. Gamir is is exiting, but JJ lost so much time on that Mips. Like it's just now getting to the Bowser fight. Yeah, it really was a bummer. And that, like I said, that's just like the category. Like, when I used to do 16 star, like, a few years ago, it seemed like, you're like, yeah, this category is, like, fun and easy and, and whatever. And then you get to MIPS and then it would die. <laughs> and, then, and then you get to BLJs and then yeah. it would also die. <laughs> it really is all about the end game. You just, like, stay clean for the stars for the most part. And, and I mean, you just got to get a good ending going. But it is crazy how much time is lost there. Gamiru going for BLJs. Ooh, does clip. Looked like a, you know, it wasn't a, obviously a perfect catch, but it almost looked like he uh, long jumped a little too far and, and kind of almost went a little bit before the first stair. Because obviously you want to be catching on the first stair. Mm hmm. But yeah. I mean, he's good at it, so it didn't matter. <laughs> Still got it. Not getting the second set with his infinite staircase. Okay, as soon as I say that, it does catch. Very good. Pokes turn at the BLJs. Basically instant wow. BLJs. That was so I did hear that Poke is a 0 and 1 star specialist. So kind of expect the BLJs to be pretty solid. Yeah, I've heard... Um, I think GTM said it was like Poke and somebody else was like the future of... Of, uh, of 16 star. So hoping he's been practicing seems like it great yeah. time 14 30 into this pipe 16 pace right on the dot actually 15. that'd be a great way to start this out oh oh nice nice uh of there for poke to just keep the composure not freak out not do anything too crazy take an extra second reset up and just kind of move forward yeah it was really nice it's really, like, you can get on yourself about catching those elevator cycles, like each elevator, but uh, you, you really don't need to. They're only, like, a second, second and a half each. So, oh, the poke oh. almost falling down. Oh, what a backup. All right. Now that we've, we've avoided that tragedy, we do have Gamiru in throws here. We'll swap right over. We'll see. I think that was one for one. This is two for two. All right. No look. I think that hit. Yep. Yeah, it did. Yeah, very nice. Very nice from Gamiru there. It's going to be a 16-minute time. Like, first run. Mid-16. With a, with a death and fire seat, mind you. Oh, oh it looks right. like both. Oh, and just having some issues with the throws here. All right, come on, Poke. So, what was that, 1640 on the dot for Gamiru? Looks about that. Looks about that. 
a nice, nice little run there from Poke to start it out. Had a couple of issues with the throws, but starting off with a, you know, about a low mid-ish 16, 16, 21. Nicely done. Yeah, super nice. I'm going to be catching up with these names on the leaderboard. So if you want to take the lead here, I'll just these runners finish. Let's see, 16, 21 from JJ. Sorry, numbers and racers and everything. <laughs> Got to keep a little focused. And we have, yeah. who finishing now? Badronis. Badronis' turn. Or JJ, right after JJ, I mean. Yeah, JJ gets, JJ with a 1748, uh, Polk with a 1621. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Right back into it. Yeah, JJ, really, really unfortunate miss. Well, I'm sure it will be much better this go around. Looked really clean for the most part. Definitely. We're going to have Badronis finishing up here with an 18. Um, missing a throw, unfortunately, there. But, you know, sometimes you just got to start off with a no reset. Yeah, you just got to get the, the stars and everything out of the way. You got to get your, your emotions under control. I, I do like to see the... The first runs being finished, or at least the first couple. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you have time, right? Like the short category, you have 99 minutes. Uh, y you can take a bit of time and, and finish a run or two. Oh, bad throw. Third throw. It's a 120 runner's worst nightmare. You know, if there's anything that you can do in, one, in a 120 run, most of the time is miss a throw. <laughs> it's yeah, uh, but it is it is the worst feeling in the world to lose a one to throws. I don't think like yeah, I, I don't think of, I can't think of a worse feeling. Honestly, <laughs> it, it's it's pretty bad. You're you're hour and a half in, like over hour forty five in, miss it on the last throw. Eighteen fifty five from Badro, a nice finish there. All right, 18.55. As most runners are just here at the beginning. I think everybody is just on their resets. All right, we'll see who to swap over to. Looks like JJ is on the reset. Was going to look at him. Gamiru might be the next one up. We were just watching, but... Consistency is consistency. Yeah, Gamir really was the the breakout star of the uh, of the last tournament that they participated in, and uh, you know it was well deserved. Honestly, just consistency shines through in lots of just crazy plays by by Gamir. So super fun to watch. Yeah, one hundred percent. Gamir is more like one of the best runners we have here. Absolutely insane, sixteen star runner. Really consistent. Does really well in these types of events. All right, that is the wrong audio here. So I do apologize. Let's uh, let's swap over to, I don't know. Like, I guess Poke's the only other one in in Dark World. So I don't know, we'll, we'll stick on to, to Gamiru here for a bit. See what we can do. Yeah, everyone just kind of chilling. I'm, I'm waiting for for Laysos to get a run. I'm really curious to see how Laysos will do because he's not a 16 star runner like at all. Badronis is like maybe a little bit. I've seen him do some 16, but Laysos is a bit of yeah. a wild card. Yeah, and I think Laysos is just being very uh, picky about which runs he decides to move forward. And like, in all honesty, like that's probably the move at this point. Um, you're going against Gamiru, JJ Poke, like. You're going to have to bust out a pretty solid run in order if you want to kind of qualify here. So um, it's definitely very important because if you think about it now, like, I mean, some people couldn't get a 1640 in, in, in 99 minutes if they wanted to, you know. So you got to really bust out a, a, a good time and Gamir with a nice salt quest there. Oh. My bad. All right. We got Gamiru back in action with the audio. Is this double jump Owlus? It is. 
crazy how that's become a standard for a lot of the top 16 runners, and even like 70 and 120 runners who started to do it. I mean, that's the thing about this game is like, people just push each other in a way. Somebody does it once, and then you're like, you know what? Actually, I think I can do it now. You know, okay, well, Ouija does it. I should be able to do it, right? And then, yeah. then you have this like craziness, like, um, you know, single jump wild blue, uh, <laughs> double jump owl uh, salt class. Like, these things are like things that we didn't even see, you know, a year and a half ago. Like, let alone, you know, when, like, I, for instance, when I first started playing this game, like, it was not the standard in any capacity. So it's, it's, it's pretty wild. I mean, you think about it too, like, I mean, Salt Class it wasn't even, like, invented when Aki had the 1459 world record. Like, yeah. I, I'm almost positive he hit OG Cannonless in that run. So it just kind of goes to show, like, how far we've come and, and like, how, how these runners have ma managed to make these strats, like, consistent which is it's just wild uh, entirely did you see the intro video to this tournament by chance i'm just curious yeah i did you did okay because that was like exactly what i said as well like at the intro video i was like we've got so many new strats and i used cannonless as an example was, that was funny but it's so true like Ak like literally aki had the world record a year ago like as of now and and we had no idea about salt class and now like most everyone is doing it who is who's going for like a top time yeah, it really is unbelievable how far, you know, we've kind of come with this game, you know, just really the, the limits being pushed. And I, I honestly, I think a lot of it had to do with like the, the pandemic lockdown, you know, like you had like people that had been wanting to play the game for years that, you know, were like working from home or out of work or whatever. And they start kind of testing the waters. You get people that had been playing for a while, playing more. And it just, we were, it just, the limits were just, I mean, the ceiling was infinite back you know during that kind of time and and like it's it got pushed so so far yeah 100 percent. was that a punch cancel from gamiru to get speed back what was that that was nutty this was sliding backwards like stopped sliding but punched canceled which punch canceling does actually increase your speed i don't know if that was on purpose but that was nuts it's just like one of those things where it wouldn't surprise me if it was on purpose just because of like some, some of the intricacies and in game knowledge and stuff that these guys have like um at, at this level at like Gamera's level it's just like it's different like you, you can you could go on you know yukiki and and learn you know the strats but it, it takes like a special kind of like game knowledge to really like be at this level oh 100 percent agree it's it's pretty insane so much time and dedication put in as you can see, we were having this insane run just off of another run that is probably going to be a qualifying time with the death at the very end of Fire Sea. Yeah, which just goes to show again that, like, Gamera is kind of just built different. <laughs> built different. A lot of Mario 64 runners are. I love it. That's one of the reasons I love this community. Everyone's, like, just all about being like as crazy and insane as possible and people are just like i mean if you can do it you know just it's push the limits they just absolutely like the the grinds we've seen over the past like couple you know the past year even just it's just it's just insane uh, i would 100 agree Gamu taking a nice volcano star just take the elevator only a few runners been doing lava boost about a second difference. Maybe even less than a second. I think when I was timing it out, it was like less than a second. Yeah, if I recall correctly, it's it's something along the lines of like like 0.5 or something. It, it's, it depended on the ending, I think. Mm -hmm. So obviously the better ending you do, the more time you're going to save. Yeah, I, I, don't, yeah, like I wasn't that, doing you know, like a like great a, ending. Yeah, it's like a GTM type of question. You know, like 16 star specialist sort of question there. For sure. Yeah, I totally understand the the elevator, though. World Records have had that elevator in them recently, so... Not bad at all. Not bad decisions. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a second. You can, you know... It is important in 16-star, but, you know, like, sometimes you'd prefer the consistency, which is totally understandable. Yeah, 100%.
Okay, we, we now do have Lace Sauce in SSL. So, wait, Lace Sauce taking the backup. Does bonk on the Shy Guy, I, or Fly Guy. I was I was looking at that. I was like, that Fly Guy is really far up. Yep. Oh, <laughs> and man. And that's why, like, that, that backup is, is not my favorite. You can just, like, either do that or miss the you know the the bird completely uh like mm -hmm. bird can hit you there, you can the bird hits you you bonk you fall on the pyramid and, and you you know like drown in the quicksand like so much can go wrong yeah and uh, definitely Ooh, bad rng Kamira here taking it Ooh. to the face oh and another one yeah insult to injury here in hmc it's going too fast you need to slow down Let's see, we got a lot. See, a lot, they're just all on pace with each other. Everyone's in basement. Look at this. Every single runner. Oh, my word. Like, yeah, they were all in lobby. They're all in basement now. This is crazy. I mean, that's what's fun about 16 stars. Like, you can get to the basement, like, so fast. Like, you can get runs going so quickly. All right, Kamiru out of HMC, done with the stars. Well, most of them. And keep in mind, this is actually a better exit than he got last time. Better this, HMC exit, I should say. This is a crazy exit time, actually. Uh, 11 minutes, I think, is high 15 pace ex exiting HMC. And he got like 10.30. So easily low 15 pace. With a great MIPS clip. We'll go with the chip clip. Wow. Too clean. The is just wild. I know. It's, we say it like every time, or I say it like every time I commentate, but it's too clean and I can't commentate it. There's nothing to be had here. It's too, it's too hard to commentate clean runs. Make some mistakes, let me point yeah. it out. Exactly. Just no, I was kidding. I was kidding. Oh my gosh, this is a pre recorded run, by the way. Everybody, <laughs> it's not, uh, there's no curses to be had oh. here on Kabiru, you know. And that's a luckily enough, like a, a relatively easy backup when you're going for world record. It's definitely a run ender, but like in, in this sort of scenario, like, yeah, you're, you're gonna lose some time, but honestly, like, there, there could have been way worse things that had happened there. Yeah, it was a pretty quick backup as well. All right, nice sick. done so far. It's super clean. Just looking for some clean movement to end it off with. This is by far, in my oh. opinion, the hardest part. Yep. Yeah, and there it was. Yeah, there's rollouts. It's basically like BA frame perfect oh. apart from each other, but taking a clip and taking a burn because of it. It's going to take another one. Oh. No, he's one not dead. He's got one more health. Yes, he does. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, got to run through that. Oh. oh, my goodness. And almost back-to-back -back deaths in Fire C for Gamero. Like, both times, like, an excellent start, but then the ending just a bit shaky and almost cost him another run, but yeah. move forward on this one. Yeah, two deaths in, in Fire C is not, not what you want. But thankfully... We are seeing this one completes as he does get the second wow. throw. I thought it was like going to shoot what? over it or something. He, he that was, chucked that one. <laughs> that was like a late bomb hit as well. Yeah, he sent that boy. Yeah, and with that, we got Poke and Fire C. We got JJ chasing the MIPS down the hallway. Oh, Ooh, a little further. Wow. Leo. Might was going for the punch grab, but wow. Look where all these runners are. Oh, Lysos takes the reset. No. That's sad. Everyone's like right next to each other. It's too many to keep track of. Gamiru in upstairs looking for these BLJs. Yeah, mid mid 15 pace. Oh, I missed the first stair. 
Yeah, it's going to reset it. Oh, gets the first stair second time. Super clean movement to the uh, to the uh, slide or the the opening door there. See how the second one goes. Had a little bit of trouble with this one last time, but oh, much better. Here we go. Nice entrance. Yeah, it should still be on mid to mid high. I think it's more like mid high, fifteen forty pace. All right, just gonna go for this nice and easy normal cycle. But it won. What? Literally the exact depth hey. we saw in bits, like the last time we were in bits in the last race. Uh, what? Just, ju I, I guess, jumped on the last pixel of the edge, and and Mario doesn't like doing that. Just no height <laughs> to that triple jump. That's that's rough. why sometimes playing it safe can kind of, kind of mess you up because it's not something that you're used to doing. You know, you don't have as much practice in it. That is very true. Unpracticed safe strats are unsafe. Right. Be a false sense of security. Yeah. Nice right side, at least. Wow, so Gamiru is still capable for a first place time here with a death in bits. I right, see how the throws go. Yeah, low 16. Just gonna push that lead even further. Let's see, we do have poke also in bits. Oh, Leo took the reset. Badger headed up there to BLJ's. So is JJ. Oh, come on, Gabiru. Oh my goodness. All right, one more, one more. That's gonna do it. That should hit. Yeah, it should be the 1620-ish, around 1620. Let's swap over to Poke here. Keep an eye on that time. All right, Camille, 1619. Yeah, just under 1620. Wow, look at these throws. Oh, commentator's curse. Apologies. Don't look at him. Wow. Right. That's going to be three. Really clean 15 pace here. Yep, going to be the first 15 of this match, and really nicely done by Poke there. This is the first time I'm hearing of Poke. This is definitely really impressive stuff. So, 1555, love to see it. Nicely done. As many fives in there as possible. GG's to Poke here. Yeah, like you were saying, Poke, one and zero star experts. So we'll, we'll, we'll obviously has some good 16 star capabilities here. Taking first place over Gamiru and JJ. All right, still Pretty need Leo out, and Lasos like... to finish the run. But leaderboard already kind of filling up with good times. It seems like Madronus is actually on his way to. Oh, man. Sorry. Let's see what happened to, to Badro. Yeah, going up for... I, I didn't see what happened. Did he fall down? Yeah, on moving left, he actually missed the wall kick and ended up just kind of taking a spill. That but JJ on a nice pace there, too. Yeah, both of them right behind each other. Let's go, JJ. Three for three here. I don't think a 15 is possible. I think it's right at 16. But I've been wrong in the past. That's two quick throws. And he has like two seconds to hit it. That'll be, oh, unfortunately, that little bounce right before. I think it's going to be a 16 flat or 1601. Yeah, I think it missed 15 just barely. But still, going to gonna be kind of the, the final good top three time. Yeah, right at 16. Yeah. Excellent run. Absolutely. And JJ kind of, honestly, I don't know when JJ came back, but obviously off to a really solid uh, return arc here. Yeah, JJ taking a bit of a break, was really into a year and a half-ish ago. 
Probably do it. I think it was doing 70 star back then. Yeah, JJ, I think, has messed around with a bunch of different stuff. I th I think Sunshine included. I could be wrong, but... Definitely. There's definitely also a Sunshine runner. I think that's what he's been doing. If Perhaps someone can correct me, but... Yeah, haven't haven't keep two solid tracks from JJ. Glad to see him in this event. But Badronus, did Badronus finish that? I didn't even see. I didn't see either, to be honest with you. Can anybody tell me Badronus' time in the chat, please? Please, please, please. There was like four finishes like within a minute. Just missed the very last one. All right, let's see who who to watch. We're kind of back to Gamiru. I want to watch Leo. We haven't watched Leo yet. So let's, let's look over. See what's happening. I don't think anyone in chat knows the Badronus time. Uh, we'll see. It was not good enough to be top three, I don't think. No, I don't believe so either. It may have beaten his previous time, but... Uh, and the reset from Leo here. Yeah. Did everyone just on, on the same kind of level, reset-wise... Oh, Laysaw's headed in the basement. Let's catch that one. All right, Laysaw's SSL bomb clip time. I know, or bomb pillarless time. Needs the big bomb, doesn't get it. I do know Laysaw has been going for Tomaples in 120 runs. So we'll, I assume we'll go for it here as well. It's definitely no joke. Tomaples is very, very tough. Yeah, a lot of different uh, things happening there in Tomaples. Super tricky trick. Basically jumping on that tiny second slope behind this first one. And you only have such a window to do it. Laysauce grabbing it. And makes it over to the pyramid. Let's we'll see. A little extra jump there, but... Yeah, nice. Right, There's a little ahead of Gamir here as Gamir is jumping in. Grab this last top of the pyramid star. Head on off to the land of the lethal lava. And then, yeah, everyone else other than Gamiru. Reset city. As to be expected, you know, I think we're kind of in that, that point right now where you finished a few runs. Now it's time to be a little more picky. I think so, yeah. Once you get, like, a decent time, especially now, we got, like... 1619 to beat. That's the lowest I think it's been all round one. And we're only 40 minutes in. Got another hour to go just under. Yeah, probably a lot of resets to be had. Alright, Lasos. Yeah, you grab a, a few stars here with the LBLJ routes. I'm gonna need side hop, a bully star, just the one bully. And then the volcano star. But side hop for lace sauce is good. Yeah, lace sauce looking practiced. You know, if there's one thing about lace sauce, you have to respect it's the grind, right? Like he's got he's gotten so so uh, good within like not too long of a time period honestly and like I, I feel like if he dedicated some time to 16 star you'd see him get really good yeah i wouldn't have to agree there doesn't have enough health actually could do lava boost because you grabbed that one coin at the beginning there but it's gonna opt for this elevator here nice 
Actually really clean, grabbing that pole nice and high. Didn't have to climb it or anything. Oh, I just saw Leo Damon in Dark World die at the cheese block. Unfortunate. It's a classic. All right, nice reds here from Lei. The, I think that's it. The last one. 11 stars. So, yeah, talking about Laysaws here for a bit. Uh, Full time Twitch streamer. Has been doing Mario 64 runs. Primarily went 20 star. Got a 144, I believe. And ended up kind of taking a break. Maybe wants to get more more practiced in Mario before taking it super seriously again. But has been running Majora's Mask as kind of a, a pickup. That's fun. Yeah, Majora's Mask is really nice. I've been watching Pope Squidward more so in the last few months, and and it is like a cool run. I never really played Majora's yeah, Mask as a kid. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know. I I think it's nice to just kind of switch up with a speed game. Uh, you know, different speed game every once in a while it can kind of reset your your mind and and you know you can come back. Sometimes you come back to your main game better, even. Yeah, definitely. Kind of fresh eyes, maybe some new skills. Sure. All right. Oh, Gamiro did take the reset. I didn't see what it was over. So not behind Lay anymore. For anyone curious about how this is working, 99 minutes from the start, they have to get the best run possible. Uh, after the 99 minutes, there will be no resets. Any run that's going will finish. And then after that last run is done, we will take a look at the leaderboard and see who moves on. Top three times will move on. Those bottom three times will break away. And round two will be fun. We've got through most of the first round matches. This is the sixth of eight. And the next two will be played next weekend. We had Japanese runner Kano not be able to make it this week. And then Cheese is in the last group. And he's at Glitch Infinite, so I haven't been able to do that one either. But every other race has been accounted for. Nice from Lay Sauce. All right, last door. That was really clean. Yeah, really nice down there by Lay's house. Right, no chip clip to be had here. I was messing around with chip clip not long ago, kind of a little after the big craze was going on. And to, to get it, I mean, it's from start to the clip is like all precise movements with the camera and everything. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely not easy. Yeah, yeah, you need max speed. You you pretty much need to like swim right before the wall as well to get like that max speed. And then take a late B press with a good angle. It's there's a lot going on. Alright, twelve thirty exit here. That's not bad. I didn't see the HMC exit. But should be about a minute behind that. A little more. So looking to be right around 16. Oh. Yeah, that's so that's such a frustrating mistake, honestly. Oh, I'm taking the underside. Oh, two. Okay, that's <laughs> oh. That's very scary. It is. Was was gonna miss the cycle anyway, uh, most likely. Yep. If, it would have been like super close if he had a chance. Right, so decent lag reduction with this Mario cam. See anyone else on the come up? Bad Dronus in basement with the lava land.
No, late sauce. What oh, happened? Man. And that's the reset. I'm gonna come. Oh, late sauce. <laughs> that's the reset announcement. That's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, unfortunate from Laysauce there. Took the death on the second Bowser. Didn't jump over top. Oh, man. That would be a perfectly fine... It does, it does. It would have been perfectly fine if it was 70 or 120, but because it was yeah. 16. So let's see how Badronis does. First time Badro's on the big screen. Other than that, that quick finish. Oh, Badro now using a webcam. Didn't have one when I was cropping, so. Missed opportunities. Very fast elevator star there, Butter Jonas. See, I really want to. I really want a Badger face cam. Let's see if we can get one in here. We can't. We can't have Badger not have the face cam. Beautiful. Picture perfect Badro, right where he needs to be. Let's see, about 15 minutes left on the timer. Ugh, break dance. About half the time is, has been dwindled. It doesn't seem like that long. We've had so many runs make it so far. I haven't had to swap over too many times. Yeah, it's kind of wild to think that we have such great times just, you know, when we're halfway through at this point. It's pretty wild. Like, if Kamiru were to get a 15, I mean, you'd essentially need a 15 to get through. You know, you would need, actually need to get a 15 in order to place in this map, which is uh, pretty wild. 100%. I think we saw yesterday Group B. Group B played second, yes. Uh, they also had three 15-minute times. First time in the tournament. Normally, it's like one. And you have two, like, mid-16s. But these later matches, Runner's been showing up. All right, Mips Clip here for Badro. Right at 11 minutes. That's a really good time. I believe that is 15th pace. Yeah, good camera here. Nice and slow. Make the shadow disappear, Badro. No! Oh, it was a little too early. We had, he waited until... Uh, yeah, that, that, that'll that be it. Yeah, I think the angle you was know, a Badronis, little too straight. Yeah. You know, Badronis has great movement, too. That's the thing. It's just, you can tell the 16 part is actually where he struggles, as as you can tell um, right here with this MIP slip. Yeah, 40-second MIP slip. I think could have been, you know, 25 to 30, but not too bad. About 10 seconds or so. Ooh. Is that a missed swim? We'll see what time the the top the the upstairs door touches. I, I I don't know if the 15 is is really possible anymore. It might technically be, but it's you know low 16 I think is kind of the time here. Okay, good sub. Right, we do got Gamiru back on pace. This is why Gamiru is such a competitor in these events, especially these lifetime events, is because it's run after run. It's This is number four, I think, at least, in basement. And there's not much time to do more runs other than that. Right.
It's like Zero Psycho still on the table for Madronas. You know, I saw a tweet yesterday that said that, uh, if you're a commentator and you say Zero Cycle in a 16 star race, I saw you know, too. the person laughs at you. And I will, to that I say, you clearly have not been around long enough, my friend. <laughs> There's always been Zero Cycle. Yeah, you have no idea what Zero Cycle is. Because it was thought to be, like, I mean, pretty impossible until it was done. So it was called Zero Cycle. Right? I mean, it was, like, named just, that long it ago. It was always a, it was just always a thing. I don't know. I just remember it always being Zero Cycle. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm old. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> is, is, it, is it the kids that are wrong? <laughs> or is it me? Yeah. It's the kids <laughs> that are out of touch, not me. Come on. <laughs> uh, good point. A nice pace for Madrona so far. It, it honestly is. I, I think is right at 16 pace because it's it's like 145 on the door touch upstairs for a really clean mm -hmm. ending. You know, and I'm not exactly sure what Madrona's uh, 16 star PB is now. I remember before it was like something like a mid 17. Um, but, I mean, this could potentially be PB pace. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. He is the sixth seed. So, yeah, def doesn't have that great of a time in 16. Uh, come on, get the BLJ. Have the fake catch. That's the worst. That's it. One more through the door. Yep, there we uh, go. Yeah, right there. Yeah, if he would have eked over to that wall, it would have been a few extra, but... Able to keep it there. Alright, come on. Really centered angle. Just needs the BLJs to happen. Oh, just press A. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Hold down and press A. That's what, you, that's, that's what you gotta do right there. And that's such a... Like, you only use that backup in 16 star. Like, there's no other reason to really know that. Pretty much, yeah. Destroys the Prana Plant. And Badronus, you can see, like, has very good movement, just clearly not used to some of the 16-star stages and, 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 and strats. Yeah, potentially even, like, the BLJs. I, I think after those BLJs with the pipe entry, it, a 1620 is, I think, best possible time. Yeah, you can see it right here. About 40 seconds from the pipe entry, a couple seconds behind. That's that's pretty clean. Yeah, it was a super clean bits. Has has a great opportunity and probably PB pace here. I don't want to take anything away from Badger. Just might not be that third place spot. That should hit. That's two. That should hit as well. Nice. And so should that. Let's go. I, I, that's probably PB for Badger. He was, looked really hype about that. That was a great run. Yeah, GG's to Badger. Very clean. Like you said, only trouble was with the 16-star stuff, really. Like the MIPS and the BLJs, if those had gone a bit cleaner. Could have bopped Gamiru here. The 16-19, but got the 16-28 going to take that fourth place. Actually, still in fourth place. He's going to reset that time. Yeah, look Honestly, at that smile. Like, very, very nice run. That was a impressive 16-star run for someone who is a, is a 120 runner, you know? Like, like just impressive in general. I mean, that could have feasibly taken third place with, you know, just a couple, couple of things going a little bit differently. Exactly. I... It's hard. It's hard to explain how a little ups, uh, upsetting it is that it's not third place halfway through this, this run. But um, yeah, GG is really good from Badro to pull it out in this 16 star showdown on the main screen the whole time, basically. But now we got Gamiru, pop it over to him, and also JJ and Poke gonna be coming up the rear. So that's a little like. I'm, Badger should be happy with that 100%, but it is a little upsetting to know that if that might have been in like the last group, uh, it, it, I think it would have moved on. So a little unfortunate for that aspect.
But more to be had. Over 40 minutes to go, and there was definitely cleanup that Badger could do there. Don't want to count anyone out. And, you know, and even if, like, you know, Badronis doesn't qualify, like, that's still, like, you can't, you, you know, you can't really complain. Like, you got a PB, what we assume is a PB. Really nice time, like, only a couple seconds behind, like, you know, somebody like Gamiru. It's just impressive. It absolutely is. To see the consistency and, and everything. And Gamiru is uh, one of those runners who is very focused in these events. Uh, doesn't really talk at all. I told him he could talk to chat uh, during the recording because Gamiru is the one on recording here. And didn't talk at all during the entire recording. And only only talked like after it was over, basically. And then like started talking to chat. And I was like, wow. Like was actually just like focused up for the entire time. You know, this level of 16 star requires just so much dedication and um it, it, it's totally different to think about it too like you know when you're practicing by yourself and you're not talking to anybody or you're maybe like a vc with some friends nice blj there big mirror like it's it's whatever but then you got to think like there are people that play this game to thousands of people at, at the highest level they have to main, be able to maintain like conversations and like you know commentate their gameplay like it's just it's really crazy um what some people are able to do I completely agree. I, I think it's it's pretty insane how some runners, like the top ones, like you said, like Cheese and Simply and even Punky at times can just hold conversations and as they're like making frame perfect, almost frame perfect movements on screen. Oh, misses the right side just barely. Punch can't see what punch there. <laughs> placebo punch and the slow get up. That rains of pores. Here we go, last jump. Good guy Goomba on this one. Letting him pass. No riddles. Only riddle to be had is, will it be three for three throws? So that's one. All right, that's two, let's go. Oh. oh, that's too early. Is that going to do it for the 15? That might have been it for the 15. Yeah, I believe so. It's going to be right at 16. Yeah, a little over. It's going to update the time by a little bit. Yeah, 1602, just barely missing it. Instant reset. We'll jump over here to JJ. All right, fire C. Yeah, and that's not even going to take second place. It's two seconds off. We are seven seconds from first, second, and third. That's just, like, so wild to me. This goes to show, like... I don't know, like, it, it can go any way that you expect, or, you know, it can go any, any possible way, not, not necessarily what you'd expect, because I was thinking Gamiru would, you know, smash oh. a, a low 15. Oh, and so unfortunately for JJ, that was really close to ledge grabbing there. All right, some good backups to be had. But yeah, like like you said, I was expecting maybe the, the clutch up a little lower time. Um, but other runners doing it first. Uh, the top three here is kind of a, a reverse seeding. We have first seed in third, second and second, and third seed in first. Bottom three, so kind of just chilling. Badronis not chilling, actually. Insane time for Badronis. And good throw here from JJ time it looks like 15 pace we'll see what the door, door see what the door touch is but other than JJ here all runners again on their resets I want Lasos needs a good run other than that one 
I, I'm waiting. It's Lady Sauce is resetting, and you know once he's got that that one run, it's gonna be good. Just waiting on that one. Just that one. <laughs> but yeah, I just took a bomb from a Goomba, took the reset, and yeah, it wants it wants a good one. I guess sees the time and knows like you gotta go. Yeah, now now's about the time where you gotta start thinking about it. Like, you know, do I just go for another reset or something? Or what am, what am I gonna do here? Yeah, that is true. And JJ getting a quick BLJ. Lost his speed on the corner uh, of the door. Uh, Was trying to, like, keep it centered, but ended up catching the corner. But second instant. All right, three for three instant BLJs. Can he do it? Find out. Oh, almost, almost. That's not an awesome angle. Uh, yeah, might not be wet dry world, but okay, is up there. Okay. <laughs> Was pretty pretty bad. A little close. Oh, uh, goes for cast long jump. Probably knows he's got a little bit of time, but doesn't get it. Ooh. You know, if you're JJ, why not? You're you're pretty comfortably in second here. I mean, maybe Gamir can can pop out a 15, but. That still that still leaves you in the qualifier here. So at that point, you know as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I wasn't paying super close attention to the time. Was at like 15 minutes during the reset, so probably was cutting it really close. Oh, ne definitely. Needed a little something extra. Guess we'll hop over to Leo here. I was I keep wanting to say like Leo admin, but that's not that's not it. It's like. It's actually, I think it's his name. It's like Leo and then Damon. Mm. That's what it seemed like on Twitter, at least. Right, gonna be headed out of Wamps here in just a moment. Furthest one. Nobody in basement as of yet. I have a feeling that will change. Yep, that's it. Four stars here exiting Womps. As Gamiru enters Womps. Yeah, let's keep this one keep this one nice and long. We won't have to watch any any intros. Thirty three minutes left. Oh, not, not the bomb that you want there. Yeah, frame too early. Oh. Sometimes they look like the big Whoa. bomb, but they're the medium bomb. Yeah, it's like you're literally like a frame off. It's it's really unfortunate. All right, second try. Oh, goes for Tama here. He's going to catch Angles this next side. Off. Oh, already knew. Changed the camera. Very nice. All right, going here for Talon. Does look good. Make it through these basement stars, and we'll see. It looks really clean for the for the star section, at least. But as we've been seeing, it's the the 16 star specialties that have been kind of making the difference between the seven seconds of first, second, and third. Oh, that one pillar. Yeah. It'll get you. Yep. Yep. Every time. No, what? What was that? Made like the invisible sound. If you're gonna make a mistake on that star, I guess that's the better one to make. 
Didn't lose too much time. See, Badger are taking a bit of a break here. Don't, don't blame them. I think it's about that time. You've been running for roughly an hour, just over. Got time for maybe one more good run. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely, probably about that time. Fifteen minutes to maybe get something started. Then maybe another fifteen, just uh, last minute. You know, no reset or something along those lines. Lace sauce getting Owlis. Pretty sure got Candlemas too, so I see him soon. I know Gamir is on another pacer, but I just we've seen so much of Gamir. I want to highlight some other runners. This poke doesn't make through Dark World. Does he have one more star? I think he does. Okay, I guess that's single star splits. I saw the timer go from red to green. I got a little confused. Yeah, he must be on single stars. A little burn, but very quick backup. JJ in SSL. Lace Sauce just jumping in the basements. So here we go. The group has arrived in basement together. I love how they all just managed to get runs like in the same spot at the same time. Like it's kind of it's almost uncanny. It's it's been something. Hasn't happened at all yet. Yeah, this group is is on it. I said this group was going to be like the one to watch. I think with with how close they were in skill, and we're oh, seeing yeah. it. We're seeing it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, a little some sandbaggers here with the seeds. Different categories. Going for the left side. Only needs one more star here. Looks like it's going to be a really good fade out time. About 30 seconds to, to grab the star and jump back out. So sub 11 in this H and C. Aw, oh, gets the bad RNG. Half a second wasted to RNG. Gotta reset. Just kidding. This is a great run. Although, when you do lose time for, like, just the game deciding you're gonna lose time, it does feel that way. You're like, the game's against me. I'm just gonna reset yeah. it. This run's cursed. been playing with this personalized cart for too long. I know it's tactics. <laughs> I feel like it's always in it's always in 120 you get bad RNG. Ooh. You have like a really nice HMC 100 coin, you start doing the rest of HMC and then you're like, nice, like of course. Like, the full <laughs> RNG is awful. It is, yeah, 100 coins are pretty bad. Good second attempt here. From Leo. Nice. is in there 11 30. now gamir has been behind leo a good bit and hasn't caught up much so it's definitely pacing let's see lay sauce jj both in lethal lava land I know he's not on the main screen, but Gamiru, 
uh, top left here. Watch this. Watch this MIPS clip. Ah, uh, then camera changed on him just a little bit. But did you see like how he just jumped yeah. straight towards that door with like a, a pretty yeah. good camera? There's a setup for that that I've seen a lot of top runners do, and it's crazy. You, you get like real close to the wall, you turn the camera, and you like stick it between Mario and the wall, and you get like a nice straight angle. Oh, that's yeah, that's that's a little rough. Yeah, of course didn't get the uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the cycle's possible anymore. Once you once you go for for pole, and you miss the glitch, then pretty pretty done there. Oh, takes the burn. Uh oh. Okay, I gotta run through that hard a couple times. Or maybe just once. I didn't know this. Uh, I learned it like maybe it was probably two years ago, but the faster you run through that heart, the more health you recover or faster or something. I did not realize that. Oh, yeah. It would be like, it would always be like sometimes you would recover more uh, health. And I could never figure out why and realized it was that. Yeah, I have heard that. I have heard that. Yeah, some really interesting mechanics in this game, just all in all. So much depth, knowledge to be had. Gamir looks like getting the ultimate fire sea cycle. First time catching up majorly on Leo here. But just over 14 minute exits. Leo's still pacing. Looks to be right at 16 pace, actually. Might might be a little slow. Just because we need those 15-minute times. But we'll see how BLJs end up. Uh, come on! Yeah, it's so frustrating when you can't land a BLJ. Yeah, that's definitely it's definitely gonna be the third place gone. But yeah, this was such a good run from Leo, and yeah, BLJs are gonna take it from him. There it is. A little, a little too late. Right, we got Gamiru on BLJs here. About a minute and a half ahead of. Leo. Uh, but Miru can't get him now. What is happening? Oh, first stair. Here we go. Right, nice clean bits here. I'd love to see a time from, from Leo. And then have like one more run to contest it. Man, Lasos making it to basement, but keeps resetting. Trying to find the one. Wait, he's behind. Yeah, he's not in. <laughs> oh man. That's the best bonk in the game right there. Gonna be one. Clean throw. Oh, is that it? Oh, but it doesn't even bounce oh. off the platform. There it is. Good throws from Leo there. Is going to secure a low 17 time. Not a bad time at all. We've seen these times hold up to the very end in a lot of these groups. So don't let these other times fool you. Leo is, is pulling out some, some big guns here. Just 
Getting a little overshadowed, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, what was the official time? 1702? I'll, I'll put it down. It doesn't supremely matter. But wait, Gamiru. I think seeing he couldn't beat the time, just opted for the reset. I think that was the third throw. Interesting resets. Poke and Lethal Lava Lamp. Poke could pull up a nice upset here. No, that's... Whoa! Oh, man. I, I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. <laughs> oh, right in between. Got a nice smile there, laughing it off. That was good. Didn't seem to be too serious about that one. All right, Badro's turn. Last time we saw Badro towards the beginning, he had to run all the way to the end. Oh. Got five frames. Third time. All right. If he doesn't reset this, I'll be surprised. Wow. Fortitude. 20 minutes to go. Only has time to really finish one more. Can finish this one and start another one, maybe a couple more. But is looking for really one final good run, and that's going to do it there, yep. Yep. Where are we at now? Are we back on Leo here? Looks like we are. All right, it's time. Definitely Leo's time. All right, quick question in chat. If a runner starts a time and the timer ends, do they get to finish? Yes, they do. Just no resets once the timer ends. We will finish every run. And then once that last run is complete, or it can't be in the top three times, we will conclude. But yeah, run is not over until that last time crosses the finish line. Or doesn't. But so what are you what are you looking at, Collins, here when you're looking at the screen? What are you keeping your eyes on? You know, so at this point, you know, you just got to hope that if you're Lay Sauce um, or if you're Leo, like, you got to get a time on the board. You know, you got, like, 18 minutes to, to get a run going. Um, I'd be really picky at this point and just kind of um, use this time to, to just get something started, get a solid Womps exit, and then just kind of push from there and, and hope that you can you can clutch one out towards the end. Yeah, that is true. Just trying to snag this one. Lace Sauce might be struggling with this LBLG. I think that's where a lot of the resets have, have been going. And then when he does get a run, it uh, just hasn't been enough of them, I think. Oh, Pedro. Everyone. Everyone on the reset. Time is ticking. Nicely done there by Leo. Last star here, Womp's Fortress. A decent time. Already has red splits. What is, um, I forget what Leo's PB time is, but this was not a bad Womp's. 1443 is not a bad time. <laughs> oh. 
multiple walls being hit at the same time. Quick SSL, quick pillar list, no big deal. Easy day. Easy day, easy life, here it goes. Leo, how easy is it? It's just that easy, but it's that hard as well. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Let's see, uh, getting a little correction, 1706, thank you. I didn't actually see the, the exact final time. I didn't, I didn't know it was just over 17 minutes so thank you for the quick correction here but yeah still not quite good enough badger not quite good enough either 1628 15 minutes everyone's on the hunt that's why we're kind of sitting in this early game with 15 minutes to go Man, Badger is struggling with this Owlis. I just saw him miss one before. Let's see. Let's swap over to Badger. It looks like that's the furthest one anyway. Here we go. Oh, I didn't even see it. Cool Cat Gang, thank you for the raid. Party of 25. Thank you so much. Let's go. Cool Cat Gang, hosted by Saren, is doing a 16-star tourney themselves. So definitely go check them out. Honestly, click on that name and give a follow. They also do tournaments just like this. I do commentary for a lot of them. And a bad drone taking a low tree grab, not making it high enough. That's that such a frustrating <laughs> Uh, that's so frustrating. Yeah, that is really frustrating. And every, everybody, everyone's on the reset. We have four and in, five intros. One just making it out of Dark World. Our savior, Poke. Content, please, Poke. Please. We'll see how this one goes. I mean, these runners are looking for their last one, so we'll see a lot of them continue here in just a moment. Absolutely. Gosh, Lay Sauce. Having trouble with this LBL Jay. I want to see it, Lay Sauce, please. I want to see it. You know, at this point, you really like. You know, you, you can bust out an LBLJ time of like a, you can you can get 16s, you can get mid 16s with, with no LBLJ, but you know, stay really competitive and get that big time save. Like you gotta be doing LBLJ. So, Lay Sauce is kind of just stuck in a, you know, rock in a hard place at this point. Like, I've, you get yeah. 13 minutes left at this point, you might as well just try to get something going with LBLJ. It's, that's fact. That is fact. We, we've seen it here. Haven't had a single runner make it through who's only doing or, or is doing no lblj only lbljs have continued but we've gotten close we've had two runners get really close they were like hinging on third place and ended up like barely getting beat out both of them did but poe can't get this owlis yeah rough Let's take a look at JJ. Leo's a little further ahead, but it's been a minute. Right, Laysos with the LBLJ. Shooting a little far, but is in there. Just get a run going. I'm right. I'm waiting for the switch. Let's see what JJ can do with this run. 
nice low 250 exit. And at this point, it's just kind of icing on the cake for JJ. Like, you can get a good run going, Austin. If not, you know, you've kind of already proven yourself, you know, with a 16 flat already. So, you know, it looks like he'll be moving on here, which is which is crazy. For, I mean, for just coming back to Mario, it was Mario 64 a few weeks ago. Like, I mean, you know, who would have guessed? A gamer. Through and through. Some people just have the gaming gene. Really not much else you can say. They do, honestly. I mean, Ouija definitely has it. Oh, he, yeah. Green Sweegee's proved himself in 16. I'd love to see some 70 or something. Oh, he's been doing awesome in 72. It's pretty wild. Oh, I haven't seen any of it. That's great. Yeah, I think he has 48 already. <laughs> Jeez. I know Lunar's also been doing 70, and he's right there, I think. Yeah, I wanted to get Lunar in on the 16 star, but like as soon as I was like getting runners ready, uh, or like getting the invites out, Lunar was like, "I'm not doing 16 anymore. I'm only doing 70." And I was like, "Crap. I guess we're not getting Lunar." But is a great streamer, a great runner, and that's gonna be the reset for JJ. Yep. Swapping back over to Badro here. Let's do it to it. Fourth to top three. Yeah, it looks like Badro got um, maybe a later cycle. I think right at a little over three minutes, jumping out. All right, Gamiru. Oh, not getting that cannonless. All right, give the runners this 10 minute warning. We got just under 10 minutes left. Close to nine now. We got Badger with the Owlis, very clean. Grab the star, Bradro should be on his way. Like quick texture setup. Nicely done. Yeah, that was good. Ooh, uh pause timer? That's interesting. Oh that... What if we swapped and swapped back? Is it on my end? That's weird. Okay. Well, we'll just have to see. Maybe a retime necessary. He probably just accidentally hit the, the pause button. It should resume uh, with the correct time if that's what happened. Either that or live split could have crashed, maybe. I'm not really sure. Potentially. Yeah. If, uh, if it's close, we'll definitely retime will be in order. Yeah, it does seem to be paused on a stream. It's not me. There it goes. Yep, and it updated with the correct time. Yeah, live split and is you know, a great like, tool. Yeah, it's it's awesome. But you know what's so funny is like a lot of people like you'll see newer runners be like, oh well, I don't have live split. Like I can't do runs. Like not necessary whatsoever. It's just kind of like a visual gauge for you to, you know, understand where you're at in the run. Like I know like for instance like Serenity like doesn't really use uh, splits. It does use live split timer, but it's totally not even necessary. You can actually just submit a run. You don't even need live split. You could have live split start on. 10 hours and 10 minutes for a 16 star run and you can st still be accepted <laughs> if it's if it, you know if otherwise a valid run so it doesn't really matter what your timer says um so long as like the rest of the uh you know the the uh the rules are hit yeah it's a verifiable run yeah timer sure a a runner's friend not necessarily a mod's friend and you do mod for the sm64 submissions right yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. yeah that's pretty cool so yeah, the, the a lot of the time, you know, you're kind of just if it's not incredibly obvious, you're just uh, 
you know, you're retiming a lot, so you don't even really take into account the live, the actual live split application too frequently. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We'll be jumping out of SSL here. Badro could be the last run, depending on how far it gets. Poke also in basement here. We'll see what happens. Oh my word, taking the booty burn straight up. Yep. Oh. Okay, is is gonna just run into here. Does does need that coin. <laughs> okay. No, Badro, no. Okay, I thought the volcano was about to start shooting fire too. Uh -huh, okay, this is a little unfortunate from Badger here. Might see one more reset. Hopefully everything else goes clean. But Poke taking the reset, no longer in basement. Just a few more minutes here to get something going. Yeah, the racers are scrambling. Probably have been for the last 10 minutes. And what what do you do when you got like literally a 16 and a 1602 you have to beat? You, yeah. I mean, you just have to reset until you get something better. Badro making it happen, but this is losing some seconds. But does do the slide kick entry, so at least he's saving the frames. We got on final runs, JJ coming out of Dark World. Okay, seeing Laysa's the end of Dark World. All right, Badger, HMC, 930 entry, about. Oh, man, as soon as I called out Laysa, he reset. Not bad here. Should be a decent HMC exit. I think the last like stage was the worst for Badro as far as time loss. So still not yeah. a bad run. No, this is definitely uh it's definitely doable. Triple box, or no, he just did triple box. Emergency exit. Quick. Oh, Ooh, little Horse. lag. <laughs> Always this in the ground pound. That's just a classic on that star. I don't know what it is, but I used to do that all the time. last star it is so it should be jumping out if everything goes well just after 11 so about 30 seconds behind like you know ideal pace but is not bad at all still in the money on this run As we see the the bad row slight head nod of eh, it's not too bad I 
I will give a one minute warning to these racers here in just a moment. See if they want to get any last resets in. Yeah, what a day. So many races. This, this, this group has literally been racing in groups. Mips phasing in and out. All right. Didn't go through the door. Yeah, Mips questioning reality there. Decided wanted to stay on the other side of the door. Let Mario pass. All right. One minute to go. Yeah, this should be Laysauces and Leos and Pokes last runs. Most likely Gamu Gamiru and JJ as well. Oh, Gamiru falling down on that cannon list. That's not good. All right, the ones to watch Badro, Leo, and Laysauce. Ligo and Laysauce on their final resets as Badger is going to eat the time here, seeing what he can do with this run. Oh, didn't get the jump. And still next cycle, I believe. You're going to have to have the. Oh, actually. I see done. No, please don't pause on us, Badro. Come on, what are you doing? Okay, here we go. It didn't even skip forward. Oh, this is scary. Uh, okay, just, just make it there. He should make it there. Okay, this is not as scary. Getting a bit of lag on Badro's side. Here we go. All right, and that is time. I will call it in the Discord. Bad joke mode. This is not fast. Oh, is that a missed throw? Oh. No! Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Wait, is he gonna die and he sets it? Oh, yep. no. Falling off the edge because of the tilt. It looks like he's gonna continue it, so we'll, we'll watch, we'll watch. Maybe not. <laughs> it's gonna keep pausing. Oh, no. Oh, Laysauce not doing LBLJ is deciding this last run is just going to be nice and easy. Yeah, might as well just kind of do a no reset. At least get a time on the board. Yeah, let's swap over to, to JJ here. We'll swap over to Badro once it gets a little closer to the end. Oh, Leo! Looking like he's done. Yeah, that's going to be it, sitting at that Lakitu cam. And Leo is done. Wait, Laysauce is done. That's a reset from Laysauce. Laysauce is done, too. Oh, man, I really wanted to see it from Lay there. He he had so many runs going for him, and it just, like, wasn't able to come together. But GG's to Lay Sauce. Thank you for coming out and being a part of this. I know you don't run 16, so it was, it was a good show. It really was.
JJ coming out 10:35, probably closer to 10:30. That is that is pretty ideal. I'm not sure you can do much better than 10:30. Oh, but poke not getting cannonless. Miru is in fire sea. Yeah, it looks like all the runners going except for Badger, but you know, time's already gone. Uh, is is going to be the final three, so no more upsets to be had here. Top three are moving on, but it is not in the positions you thought they would be in. But still some time. We'll see how the bracket looks after these runs have finished. All three runners still in it that are in the top three. Run sub from JJ. Do you think we're going to see uh, any any leaderboard changes here? You know, at this point, um, it's anybody's guess. I couldn't, I, you know, I couldn't tell you exactly what pace we're on here for everybody, but um, you know, at this point, it doesn't. It's not really super important. Obviously, they've already kind of solidified their spots, but it would be nice just to have a bit of confidence going into the next uh, round. You know, just a little bit better over time for some of these guys, but. Um, you know, I think we had expected things out of them regardless. Absolutely. Badger saying it in chat earlier, it's all just for fun. And it absolutely is. And I'm, I'm glad they were able to come out. Big is always a fun, it's always a fun sort of, uh, you know, tournament uh, format. Even, even in, you know, what? tournaments. Oh, and JJ. How did that happen? <laughs> That'll be it. I saw the shadow uh, still on the thing. It didn't look like it moved at all. That's... Yeah, not really sure what happened there, but unfortunate. Uh, let's swap over to Badger here as he's finishing up. Actually, not that screen. That is the wrong screen. That is this screen. It looks like Lace Sauce ended to... Or, excuse me, that was... Ah, come on! Like, I, for some reason, I thought, some reason I thought Lace off the screen was still going. That was actually Poke. Yeah, Poke's still in it. Did miss out the cannon list. Now missing pillar list. Missing the bomb grab. Good finish from Badro, at least. Was a rough last run, but finished it out with an 18 minute time. Not bad at all. Had that 1628. Yeah, I'm actually very impressed that Badro got that 1628. And then, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm very confident that's a PB. I don't think Badro yeah. had more than like a 1630. Or, or better. Oh, like I said, like. I mean, I remember, like, this was before all the kind of 16-star hype uh, semi-recently, but I remember Madronas had, like, a 17.45 or something, like, at one point. So, um, I would, unless unless he's been doing more 16, which I don't believe so, um, it definitely seems to be a PB. Yeah, I was super excited when he got it, so I'm very, very happy uh, that that was the case there. You always That's... love to see that, you know, a PB in a, in a tournament setting is awesome. Absolutely. We've seen a few of them, actually. There's been like three or four so far. It's been like every other race. It's been super cool. That's that's one thing I like about this format, too, is like you definitely get the opportunities to see those runs close to the PB pace. And then, oh, and then you kind of sure. like see the skill of the runner. It's not like that. Those one and dones, you know, you can do two out of three, three out of five. But, you know, it's not quite the same as like, you know, normal PB attempts. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Gamiru making this front sub. Okay, it does make it happen. All right, swap back to Gamiru. Is I've been avoiding Gamiru like for the last forty minutes because we uh, were was on him for like the first twenty. But it does have a good run going here at the end.
good pull glitch. But yeah, but like I was saying, Gamera has been like super consistent, and I mean, I haven't been putting him up the entire time. There's the one seed here. And this camera angle freaking me out. JJ just died to it. Yep. Oh, poke ended. What happened to poke? I am not sure. Yeah, and I don't. I'm not sure what happened to poke, but that is okay. Poke is in first place, so has nothing to worry about. Nobody does. That's so uh, crazy. Yeah, only only the seating will change depending on this run from Gamiru. Yeah, third place in first, second and second. First place currently in third. Last place coming in fourth. Last seed coming in fourth. So yeah, definitely some some crazy matches today. Same thing with the last race. Pretty sure we saw something very similar. Last seed making it through to, to the third seed. In this previous race. Oh come on, Gamiru. This is definitely 15 capable. Come on. Nice. Ooh, instant BLJ for the second one. Very clean. Perfect angle. Yeah, very nice done. Those quick rollouts there to get the speed up that slope thing. The running slope. Nicely done. Good elevators. Oh, Goomba. All right, does have an opportunity to take first here. About 1545 capable. Poke's sweating. <laughs> Poke is sweating. <laughs> That's one. one. So crazy, he doesn't even look at the bomb. He just knows where it is. Yeah. Is that going to be it? And I think that's going to miss. Oh, wow. Oh. The, yeah, that looked right coming off of Mario, but was able to hit it. GG's to Gamiru. Taking first place in the last possible the seconds. Last wow. 1549. Nicely done. Yeah, and with that, the leaderboard's going to change. Gamiru takes the 1549. GG's, everyone. Drake's in chat for Gamiru. That's actually insane. Sniping it from Poke. Taking that first seed spot back was like, no, I'm not having it. I'm going to be the one seed. And the seeding does matter depending on the next... Uh, group you will be placed in. So we will not be racing everyone against each other again. We will be swapping it up a bit. So that is why it matters. Gamiru taking it at the last moment. Collins, what do you think? How, how was today in your mind? Like, Was it everything you expected to be? To be? Honestly, yeah. This is actually the exact order that I had <laughs> like kind of anticipated going into this. Um, at least for the first four. Um, I didn't really know too much about Leo, and at Lay Sauce was kind of a wild card, but honestly, like, great job to everybody. I mean, a 1549, the last run is incredible. Like, Poke, you know, 1555, can't complain. And JJ, after just coming back for a few weeks, like, you know, 16 uh, minute time is, is, is fantastic. And then obviously, Bajonas with a really nice PB, too. So, I mean, all around, like, just really, really nice 90 minutes of runs for everybody, you know, like, I mean, to th if you think about it, really, like these are great times to get within like an hour and a half time span. It's it's pretty incredible. 
Yeah, absolutely. I 100% agree. I uh, was really expecting Pogue to take first place there with the 1555 once Gamira wasn't really able to get much more going after that 1602. Ah. Uh. But was uh, <laughs> was very <laughs> awesome. Oh, there he goes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is the recording. Uh, yeah, it was super silent the whole time. It was super focused. And, and Gamiru ends up taking first. So that's going to do it for this group match and for today's matches. There will be no more until next weekend. The final two will face off. And that will be Group D and Group H, I believe, are the last two. That is Kano's group and Cheese's group. So they will be facing off. Kano uh, could not play this week. Cheese had a... Uh, is that GlitchCon? So it's definitely not able to play this week. And so that is why they are playing next week. But everyone else has finished. I will bring up the final screen here with the schedule in a moment. But amazing day for matches. Yesterday was amazing as well. Uh, I really appreciate everyone showing up uh, for these matches to play and to watch. Because if nobody was watching, uh, I would not be hosting. So thank you guys. But with that, I think I'm going to end it, throw it off. Uh, Collins underscore VG. Uh, where can people find you? Uh, just twitch.tv slash underscore Collins VG. Same thing on Twitter. At least I think so. Maybe, like I said, Brew 6 coming soon. Maybe we'll start doing some SM64 again. We'll see how it goes. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here. I'm really happy that you were able to make it out and come with me. So Yeah, thanks got... so much for having me. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. Anytime. But that'll do it. As you can see yeah, on the board, we had E and F play today. So those two are gone. Uh, D and H are the last ones to be had. So if anyone uh, wants to give me a follow here on Twitch or on Twitter or even YouTube, I will be posting all the matches there on YouTube this next week. So if you missed any of the action, you can check it out there. Exclamation mark. Socials. I uh, will have everything there for you. Um, that TikTok one needs to be thrown away because I don't do that anymore. I tried for like two weeks and then <laughs> it was like, this is weird. So I don't do that. But um, but yeah, going to be doing that. Going to be throw it here. Thank you guys for the final time for being here. I am Markinator99. Joined with me was Collins underscore VG. Everyone have a great day. Sixteen star, you ain't gotta go far About fifteen minutes from there to the start I got invitationals for the skills of the stars And I'll invite you too if your skills are on par Ouija. Oh, he's so close, but he's got it here This is a Manimo cycle Is that cheese? It's less than a second She should have it though Green Sweegee Green Sweegee to first place Where's the competition? Don't you see they're in your spot? Go up there and take it That is... I'll invite all the top players and entice upcoming gamers Come along all you spectators and 6-4 no emulators I don't mean to be exclusive but the lag is so intrusive Players come to test their skill but that's a mountain not a hill You'll have 99 minutes to complete your objective Defeating Sky Bowser, yes of course it's effective Reset every run or beat every single one Please come enjoy all the fun, there's still time, one more last run Gamiru and Kano came all the way from Japan. He's gonna flip again. Oh, we got a first! We got Benji 2 and GTM. Didn't catch there. Goes for pass, long jump. Is that slippery? That's name? a close throw, but he got it! He got it! If you wanna see them bleed, 16 stars is what you'll need. It's the showdown of your life. Sit right there and watch the strife. If you watch and do not run, it will even be more fun. All these gamers going at it will make you and two fanatics. Got world records and performers. Save the frames and cut the corners. Lots of money on the line. Better hope you're in your prime. Sit right there and watch the screen. A few quick stars, all we need. Don't mess up or over. Please, that's a ground pound. Mario, please. It's a 16 star showdown. I invited everyone. You better not miss it. Now, who's ready to play?